Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little something different. Um, no, we're not going to be cooking the cat, um, but we do have a new toy that we want to show you and we're going to be doing an unboxing of it. This is the Breville. It is a multifunctional toaster oven, air fryer, roaster, dehydrator, all of that in one. Hang out with us as we unpack this. We'll show you what's in here. We'll also let you know why we chose the Breville. Ron's going to help me with this this evening. He is more tech, not tech, what's the word? Uh, yeah, tech savvy. No, I'm not tech savvy, but I'm a... <laughs> He's more so than I am. But I, I do play am. one on the camera, so. <laughs> He's more so than I am. I enjoy playing with the um, ovens and cooking. And um, I how, enjoy it, eating. how it all oh. happens is it's magic. PFM. <laughs> the reason we went with the Breville, uh, we only have very limited counter space. And I have an old, old, old thing, must be 30 years old. I'll show you. It is so old, um, and I needed to replace it, and I had also been wanting an air fryer. So that How old that, is it? It's 30 years old or more, <laughs> but she's been a good one, um, but we're going to retire her. Um, put her over there. Aww. Put her over there. Get rid of her. Out with the old, in with the new. Um, and so I wanted to um, get something that I could use for a number of different things. This one is an air fryer. It is a dehydrator. It roasts. It bakes. It slow cooks. It um, is a pizza oven. It boils and it proofs. So I'll be able to use this with my dough as well. So it's going to do lots of things. Let's get into this. It is packaged very well. It wasn't another big box. You know how they come. Um, it had handles on it. So it was really easy to take out of there. It's a little heavy, but it's, it's manageable with the handles on the side of it. So you have the booklet on it. It does have a two-year limited warranty. I'm going to lay that right here for just one second. Oh, this is nice. It's got a nice stainless drip pan for the bottom with a handle on a plastic handle so you can pull it out. Oh, that'd be great. Really easy and looks like it's going to be easy to keep clean as well. Here's a, let me get, let me see if I can open these so we can see. Them. I brought the knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, see what I got to deal with, right? One eye open when I sleep. Look at here. A 13-inch coated pizza pan, round pizza pan. Oh, that coat will make it a lot easier to keep clean. We like easy cleanup. Here is one of the racks. I'm not sure how many racks does this thing come with. Uh, let me see if I can help you with that. It looks like it may come with two racks and a basket. So look, this rack, these racks go at either side, and we'll show you how that works here when we get get the toaster out. Yeah, we looked at some um, information on it before we got it, so we know a little bit about what we're going to be unpacking. Let's see. Oh, oh, look, look, look. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's another. Oh, no, I know what that is. That's... I think that goes with the roaster pan. Yeah, this is the a coated roaster pan, enamel coated roaster pan. I'm gonna get that. I feel like Christmas. Yeah, that's like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's a very nice coat coating on that pan. And this is the rack for it. So when you oh, maybe, that'd be great for meatloafs or turkeys or yeah, ham. You can put a whole chicken, chicken in there. You can put a whole turkey in there. A whole turkey, a small yeah. yeah. Not too big a turkey. I believe it, it said it would take up to, um, I want to say a 17 pound turkey, but I'll double check that. As I said, I read the specs on this because I knew that, knew what my 
swamps were. <laughs> Here's a nice air fryer basket. What's it say? No use. What? No use. Well, they're not. Because you can't read. It says, speak English. Do not use with foods that drip while cooking. So this would be for like your, when you're dehydrating or you put some french fries in here or some whatever. But just not, not chili dripping. cheese fries because they drip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now comes the fun part. We Is need there to... anything else on that side? Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, there's our other rack. Yeah, this Look, is our... another rack. So that's two racks and an air fryer pan. The pizza the pan yep. and um, yeah, the air fryer basket and a pizza pan and also the drip pan that we have opened up so <sighs> far. So okay. yeah, now comes the fun part, getting it out of the yeah styrofoam. I think you're going to have to lift it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, but be very careful. Here, I'll hold it. Oh, oh, that's tight. Hold it tight. Uh, yeah, look at this. Fancy. Oh, it might be taped. Uh -huh. That's why I brought the, oh, the knife in here. Let's do this. Yeah, here we go. Here, here, here. I got you. I got you. Let me get it. Thanks. I love to use the knife. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Get that out of here. Uh -huh. Let me flip it back down. We don't drop it. Okay. You want to just pull there? Look, that came out pretty easy on that side. Uh, okay, let's get this thing open. Look, guys, we're like kids in Christmas, man. Yeah, this thing is really not that heavy at all. It looks like it would be, but it's really not. It's fairly light. The, the material they use is a stainless, but it's really thin, so it makes it real light. And you always have packing tape so the door doesn't fly open. Just remove the little plastic tape. Let me flip this thing around. Okay, you can flip it, then I'll get Hold this. On. Let's look at this cord here. Let's get this cord opened up here. Wow, they really wrap this thing up, buddy. Let's wrap this thing. That's a wrap. And this is take one, by the way, so look at this. I think it's a one and done. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to repackage this thing for a second take. So the plug looks like it's going to fit pretty flush, um, but it doesn't have a little pole on it oh. that I have seen on some on some models. It does have your little spacers on the back so that it doesn't get too close to your counter. So that's great. Yeah, because this thing does get hot, so we don't want it up against the back wall. Yeah, this that's what those little rubber grommets do. So let me flip this around. So Is that all that was in the box, Ron? I think so. I don't know. I got to look. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that there was supposed to oh, be... Oh, a wood thing. A wood thing. Yeah. yeah. I guess not. Okay. Um, there is also a wood chopping block that you can get to go on this on the top of it so you can have more counter space. You can use the top of it that's heat resistant. And you can guarantee that I'm going to get one of those as well. So, here it is. Here's the front of this thing. And I don't think you can see this, but you peel this thing off. And it says, well, all it does, the toast, bagels, boil, bake, roast, warm, pizza proof, air fry, reheat, cookie, slow cook, dehydrate. It's got automatic settings on it. Um, we'll be showing you all those when we're doing our cooking stuff. But this is strictly unboxing and just kind of get you a general knowledge of the machine here. So this is the inside of it. Here's got several heating elements in it and inside I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but there's a concave 
uh, part in there, and I'll show you what that's for here in a minute. But so the racks, as you can see on the door, it's got different lines one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And each one of them is significant. And like one for broil, you use one and two. What that means is either you have it like this or like this. What so what that does, let me see if I can get one in. Yeah. So when you have it down like that, it's on two. When you flip it this way. And that looks like it raises it up about an inch. It raises it up to the wall. It raises up the distance there. So, so that's for different settings for whatever you're cooking. That's what that does. Well, it's got some writing here, too. So... Um, number three would be for your air um, fry or dehydrate. Number four level would be toast. Number five would be cookies. Number six would be bake or roast. Number seven, pizza. And number eight would be slow cook. So, so it tells you where to put your rack, too. So that's kind of cool. I'm getting ready to give you this as soon as I can get into it, Mr. Ronald, baby. <laughs> Here you go. All right, so this is your drip pan. Now, as you can see, it's nice and clean. But like we said, it's a drip pan. So it goes down here at the bottom and catches all your drippage. Yeah, see it in there? So it's below the heat element and all that. So basically everything that you're cooking that drips, like the chicken or whatever, or Actually, that'll be in, in the roasting pan, so that'll catch your drippings. But the things that you don't have in the roasting pan, it'll drip down there. And that's what makes it the more healthier thing is it drips out the grease and the oil and stuff like that, making the food much healthier. So what when that does that, of course, your drip pan's going to catch all those drippings. Now, they say in the book that you should be able to just use warm, fuzzy water and let it soak. And the drippings will clean, but I think over time you'll probably find out that it's starting to stain. So you can, and it does recommend not doing this. Breville recommends not putting aluminum foil on it. So you can or can't do it. That's up to you, depending on how 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 meticulous you are with your cleaning and how you know little stains. Like oh my gosh, I gotta get that out, whatever. Or I did notice that some people are buying these little silicone. Mat. mats that you can stick on there to catch the drippings and that way you just take the the mat out of it and clean it and stick it back in to keep your drip pan looking really really nice um this does have an oven light um you're not going to see it now because we don't have it plugged up but it does have an oven light and one of the trays um let's put another tray in ron um because it will also pop out Whenever you open the door, but I'm yeah, the inside of this door, if you can see it on the camera, has, magnet on has magnets. So I believe it's this level right here. Let me see. So let's see. No, uh, that's that not one. it. I know that one of these supposed to catch the magnet. Let's see. Oh, there, there it is. is. So that is going to be on level three. Three. So level three will actually catch and pull your rack out when you open the door. So I thought that was kind of cool as well. Also, Ron was talking about the cleaning. I did read reviews that this is fairly easy to keep clean. So that's good as well. And you have a whole lot more room than you do in a basket. Um, air fry. So that was another reason I went with it. So in the book here, it does have all of your instructions. There is also a recipe book that you can download, which I have already downloaded that, and I'm going to be trying some of those real soon. Okay, let's. All right, let me. Let's take this back to grade school here for a second. Go over how this pizza pan works inside here, and that concave back wall that I was telling you about. So, look how strong this magnet is. Watch, watch listen. Woo! Look at that. That's fancy. Anyways, back there, that concave wall. 
Round peg, square hole. Well, rectangle hole. Who cares? Look how nicely that fits in there because of that concave backing. So that's what that's for. You can also use your pizza stone with this. And just like your oven with your pizza stone, you'll want to put that in there and let that pizza stone uh, warm up or get hot on the rack before you put your pizza to it. Well, they say it's a 13-inch pan will fit it, which, look at that, huh? 13-inch pan. So as long as, your pizza, as long as your pizza stone is 13 inches or less, or you can use a pizza steel that's rectangle, as long as it's, you know, no deeper than what we said well, uh, I'd say about 12 inches, really, truly, inside. Yeah, 12 inches. 12 so inches you can put inside. anything that's 12 inches or less in there. So there's, there's that little tidbit of information. So uh, when you do set this on your counter, um, well, let's talk about some more features of the oven first before we get to that. All right. So let's go over the little technical part of this that, that, I don't want to get too in depth with it because as long as we keep it simple, kiss method, kiss method, keep it simple, stupid. That's me. So the tech part of this thing is this thing is called a smart IQ air fryer. Okay. What does smart IQ mean? I don't know. I don't have smart IQ, but the box says it has, it has a little microprocessing chip in it. And that microprocessing chip, see, I'm getting too technical here. I but think they actually use the word algorithms with the way that the heat Follow goes. along with me here, if you will. <laughs> that little microchip sends out sensor signals, okay, sensing the temperature throughout the inside of this oven, stove, oven, right? And what happens is it, it measures the algorithms because this thing is supposed to cook. If you have this thing set say 400 degrees, this thing is supposed to cook evenly at 400 degrees throughout every square inch of inside this oven, okay? So the, the way that does that, like I said, the little microchip sends out sensors to, there's independent heating elements so of each other. They're independent of each other. So when it sends out a signal, it doesn't heat the whole stove up. It just heats up parts where it needs to heat up. So it sends that signal out. So one of the heating elements, a part of that heating element will, will kick up or kick down the temperature to keep the even, even uh, temperatures throughout the cooking, inside and outside the food, everything. It's very good like that. That would be much better. I know that um, our oven that we have, whenever I bake in it, uh, cookies or cakes, I will have to rotate my pan so that I get that even cook because in the oven, I don't have, it doesn't keep even. So it's hotter in the back than it is in the front. So I'm really looking forward to that um, with this particular um, toaster oven. Now, also heating it up whenever you're preheating for something. Yeah, cooking. when you're heating this thing up, okay, you know your ovens take a long time to heat up and preheat. These things do it in probably half the time. I mean, they do take a few minutes to heat up. But they don't take, obviously, as long. So, and this thing is called a super convection. What does super convection mean in simple terms? Super convection is it's got these variable speed fans in it that, that, that kick on and off and, and blow harder. <laughs> there you go. There's a word for you. Blow hard. Uh, what he said. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Well, I don't know what I said there. But anyways... That super convection is air circulation inside there, and and along with that smart IQ is it it not only it not only heats up heating elements the independent heating elements at certain temperatures at certain times it also does a variable speed of the fan so it all works in unison it all works as PFM that's pure magic we'll just say well, that's what it is so that's how this oven works simply said. <laughs> Um, well, I am looking forward to cooking with this. I hope that you guys will check back. I want to go over safety too. So. Oh, give me one minute. <laughs> All right. A little quick safety tip is, uh, she alluded to earlier, it's got these little rubber stopper, plastic stoppers on the back. So that keeps it away from the, uh, your back wall and stuff to keep, cause this thing gets very, very hot. It gets very hot. Don't ever set anything on it. 
Don't ever set anything within what six six inches of the top and four inches from the sides right. and the back. So we want to keep keep a safe distance so nothing. So you don't want to burn your house down trying to cook cookies because, well, then you won't have the cookies and you'll have to go to Walmart and get a pack of cookies and then you'll stand outside with the fire firefighters are putting out the fire eating Walmart cookies. So you don't want that. Anyways, yeah, there you go. What else you got? Take it away. If you like this video and if you found it to be helpful, uh, give us a thumbs up. Add a comment. If you own one of these brevels, add a comment or tip for us so that we can um, know how to use it better. We have the book, but um, your tips will help us a lot more than the book. Yeah, just share your opinions on it. Yeah, and we will be cooking on this. We will put a review out in... I'd say maybe six months after we have cooked some on it. And um, subscribe. Hit notifications so Smash. you get our recipes when they post. Smash that like button. Pretty please. And until next time, stir the pot.